Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that. Yep, yeah, that's a bit crazy, guys. That was not an, that was not expected. And once again, we're on the bush track in the Georges River. All right, looks like it's overgrown a bit. Jeez, that's a bit bit crazy. All right, my mates aren't there. Whoa, that could have been bad. We ain't slipping in today, guys. Look, look over there. That's where we're going. Now, while I'm walking there, just want to show you that I'm going to start off with this brown colored lure, the brown slim swim. It's always nice to use a color like this upper river. <laughs> look at all those little crabs in the, on the ground. Shouldn't be too afraid of getting on the, getting on the mud at this stage. It feels um, very squishy just here, very squishy. All right, it's on the bottom already, so it's shallow. Oh, might have been a tap there. Oh, that was a good hit in close. That was about three meters off the bank. I felt that little one while I was looking away and then I looked back and had a little hop and that line, that line was dancing. So I might just now put on some scent to encourage that hold. That's a great sign guys, that was um, I think second cast and getting a hit can only mean that there's fish in the area which is what what I was hoping for I kind of do feel like there should be fish out here right now There we go Yes, I was saying I got more confidence here Look at that it's flashing on the surface. That's a brim. So they're just right against the edge just here. That's twice. That's a good run. Good little, good little pump. Just got to guide it in now. Guide your little brim boat in. Yep, when you hook it in that close to shore, they're still, they're still fresh. But I'll get him. That's hooked pretty well, I think. Yeah, that's hooked pretty well. Lift it in. How's that, guys? How's that for a George's River brim? We didn't get we didn't get it on that watermelon red, right? Got on the brown one. The brown one's pretty good up river because you know you gotta match the color of the water. It's pretty brown here. It's just natural. Can't beat it. One sixteenth ounce jig head. It's only a small fella. But you know the the weather it's the season for slow fishing in the winter but you know that's a good start for me off a donut right away little brembo i'm gonna get my hand around that jig head right here and pop that out that's a solid hook up just crack pop oh, love that sound love that sound guys there's that lure i'll just throw it to the side we might get some wet sleeves here i'm running against the water's edge anyway i'm gonna get a face full of water oh wrong way mate off you go back where i caught him oh and he scared something i think it was another brim or a puffer right just right on the edge there too yeah here we go just checking that leader again it's nice and fresh as you would expect when you hook a brim i like to check it All right let's commence those hops just working it in i'm gonna say that um the fish are probably close to the edges today that was two hits. I doubt it was the same fish first time round. All right, here we go. We're going back onto the edge, but I just released one right back in here. Oh, that was a, that line was just behaving very strangely. There's surely more, surely more brim here. Let's, tr let's try a bit more square. Oh, look at that. There's some fish splashing there. I don't know if I can make my way there quick enough through this through this mud. We're gonna try, just walk a little bit higher along the shore. I'm gonna make my way around. It's probably just mullet, but you know, that's something, some action of some sort that's got me interested. Just working my way through those splashes, which are most definitely mullet, but you never know what else could be in there with them. 
And you know, mullets sometimes are hungry. All right, let's try here. Oh, that's on. I was just playing around with the camera. That's right on the cast. I didn't do anything. Oh, that's too much drag. I gotta lighten it up. That's too much drag. I think, yeah, that's right. I remember I was busting off a snag there just uh, moments ago. Tighten the drag up. <laughs> Could have lost it there. What do you guys reckon? What do you guys reckon? Your guess is as good as mine right now. The fact that it's just holding there, I'm gonna call mullet. Oh yeah. Keep that rod tip high. Keep constant pressure. So this one's on the Z-Man Grub. No, that's not a, that's no whiting. That's no whiting. It's got a black tip tail. It's coming in like a brim now. That's a brim. It's another one. That's the second guys. Second brim and it's... All right. That's, yes, 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 yes. Number two guys, number two. Oh, just make my way there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, look at that. That's a pretty fat brim, not very long. Fat one. That's number two guys, number two. This one, this time we're using that, um, this time it's on the motor oil. Everyone's favorite. I guess I like this one too, very good color. I just caught him over there, just, look, just near structure, you know, that that's a bridge there. Fish near structure, brim-like heavy structure. Let's pop this out. Get that pop, get that pop. Z-Man grub, two and a half inch. This time we'll throw it in. Off you go, mate, that away. There we are, that's number two to the shroom. I don't know if you guys can see, but that, that sun behind me, starting to dip. Maybe the bite might get a bit better too. Look at that, those splashes are still there. I'm gonna make my way back around. And I'm just gonna stalk, stalk those splashes. Actually, I'm just gonna fire one in there gently. Yeah, you see, actually, I remember now what I was, was about to explain to you guys. That time there, I was, I just cast and then I was playing with the camera. But because these grubs, they take a little, oh, that was on, see that, that, that swoosh or whatever, that wave, that was a hit on me, just right in the shallows. It must have just turned away and caused that commotion. All right, we're in business, guys. We're in business here. Slow down here. All right, they might be back a bit later. I'll do one more cast. Oh, there we go. What's that? What's that? That's a fish, because it just pulled drag. I wasn't so sure. I thought it was a plastic bag. I thought it was a George's River special. That's what I had. I went silent for a second. But that is a fish. It took a run. Look at those head shakes. Yeah. Yeah, boy. That's it. Oh, I can't get my left foot out of the mud. That's some insane mud on my foot. Is it a flatty? Because it's going pretty hard for a flatty if it is. I can't see it. Yeah, it is a flatty. It is a flatty. It's right against the edge there. Oh, don't throw it. Don't throw it. I want to bring in my number three, my, my third fish of the session. Yeah, it's hooked there. It's not going to saw me off, but I might just stack it and then lose the fish while I'm stacking it. Jeez, this is some pretty insane mud. All right, how am I going to get it? Tell you what, I'll bring it around this way. Yeah, I'll just get down this way. Get down this way, get down this way. All right, there she is, 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 there she is. I'm just gonna hold my ground here and bring it in. Hand over hand, up to the fish. Here we go, going for the grab. Boom, got it, yes, that's it guys. That's number three, successfully landed. George's River, dusky flathead. That leader, I can see right there, that's, um, that's been touched up. So a bit lucky there, sawing it a bit. But that's a that's a good catch. Great fun. 
just this is just gonna fall out because I can just see that it wasn't a good it wasn't hooked it was hooked into the top part of the jaw and generally when you hook it up there the hole just gets bigger and bigger as you fight it so if you at any stage release tension on the on the line and get that and lose that bend in the rod you're gonna lose that fish not this time mate not this time flatty but it's your lucky day back you go Zoosh. I'm standing in the mud and it's pretty pretty thick I can just see the splashes there that's where I want to go I'll just stand here and have a cast even with boots this is unpassable terrain <laughs> that's insane Whoosh. we can get a good cast out though even though we're about five meters off the off the edge of the water and it's shallow shallow as oh yeah yeah <laughs> that there i thought it was a snag and when i said it and it and the moment i realized that it wasn't a snag <laughs> yeah that got me that, that was just awesome that is a brim i think yeah i think i just saw the top of that fin yeah little brim let me see if I can make my way there. Get back on this side. Less crazy in the mud on this side. Oh geez, it's still fighting, si it's fighting sideways. All right, that's no good. I'm sinking in. I'll tell you what, I'll just stand here and deliver. Stand and deliver. Lift it with my rod. All right guys, lifting. Don't recommend this. Not high sticking it. There we go, got it. Got it, flipping the bail arm, up, bail arm over in case I drop it and snap my rod, which is not going to happen now because I flipped it. Let's get this line out of the way. Let's get this line out of the way there. That wind spawned it around. Yeah, there we go. There we go, guys. There we go. A little tacker, a little brim. It's going to make it quick. This might be, yeah, there's number four now. I don't know if I'm going to get any. Well, there's number four now. That's the third brim. In the jaw. Nice hookup. Let me get that up for you, mate. Uh, give me the pop. There. Okay. And I'm going to throw it back from here. Off you go. Yep, gone. This shadow line seems to be working right now. So that's where I pulled that flathead and then I just pulled that brim from there too. And everywhere else here, obviously the sun's shining on and it's shallow, it's always shallow. Oh yeah! See, I wasn't paying attention but I knew something was up. I felt that slightest tap and I struck hard. Can't trick me brim. I'm calling it a brim. Calling it a little brim, another one. Is it? It could be a flatty. Nope, it's a flatty. It's a flatty. Now this one's going to be harder to release. Alright, so this one's going to saw me off, guys. It swallowed it. Either I get to the edge. Yeah, let's get to the edge. Let's get to the edge. Slowly, carefully. I'm sinking in, but I'll just stand here for a moment. Yeah, I'm going to lose it like that. That's not good. That's not smart. That's not smart. That's not smart. But I'm only releasing it anyway. So it's okay if I lose it there we go let's get that grab that's it solid grab it's not going anywhere we have our next victim this must be number five and it could have sawn me off see that lure i can't see it if i keep pulling it side to side like that's basically i'm just mimicking its head shaking and that's how you lose a fish if i just keep doing like that so that's when they're doing this on top of the water that's how you lose a good flatty so never lift them out like i lifted it out there because of the fact that you know my safety that you know because i'm standing in the mud and i don't mind if i lose it i'm releasing it anyway but if you want to maximize landing the fish you should never do what i just did yeah well if you just want to maximize your chance of landing it keep that head back in the water don't give it a chance to whip it out and start thrashing around you'll lose plenty of good fish that way there we go just popped it out that was pretty easy looked looked pretty psycho but not too bad off you go mate 
Oh no. What's that? That's a snag. I don't think that's a fish. No, that's not a fish. Oh no. I don't know. Oh, I think I do know what it is. I think, all right, this better not be a George's River special, guys. Oh, we knew this day was coming again. Oh, no. George's River special. Oh, all right, I'll dispose of this in the bin, but George's River special. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> guys, looks like we're gonna have to end. Looks like we're gonna have to end the session, unfortunately, on the George's River special. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna be back out here again in the near future. Thanks for watching, as always. Thanks, guys, for all your support, as always. And I'll catch you in the next video.